Hello there everyone and welcome back to one of my favorite games, Victoria 2. I hope you guys are having a pretty good day and right now as you can see, we are in a little bit of a tussle with those Americanos. As you can see, we've already, you know, launched an invasion into the, what was it, one, two, technically three, four, five, I think five remaining states here in uh, the USA. So obviously we're not doing great in some of these places, but that's alright. Time will go, and yeah, that's not doing too well. Oh, Spain went bankrupt. Well, what else? What else new? Yeah, this 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 battle isn't going great for us, so maybe we need to reinforce here. Ah, boom, boom. See what you can do. And oh, so we lost twenty six thousand for twenty one thousand. Not really great, but whatever. Lost thirty five thousand for nineteen thousand. Yeah, things happen. Um, you know what? We're gonna go immediately this way. He's gonna go immediately there too to help out. Oh, that is not good. You know what? Instead of getting involved, just kind of retreat for now. Re re retreat into uh, right there. Ah, well, sending those armies. Yeah, that was a bad idea. My bad. Oh, well. Yeah, attacking attacking at this point. Uh, really not a good idea. Really not a good idea. So, oh, well, it is what it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's not good. Uh, just in case, help out down there, too. And, what, it doesn't really matter, because I want to take out Pennsylvania. Because Pennsylvania has a capital. I think, I think we want Pennsylvania, right? Besides, we're making, we are, we are the largest military in the world. We are now number one great power in the world, above Germany, who has a thousand more industrial score than us. We have more prestige than them, and we've literally doubled their army size, which is actually really cool. So, we are above Germany, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We do have some comments to go through as well, so, uh, we're attacking, we're defending, um, and we're blockading, so. Cool. Oh, and full citizenship, and we lost 57,000 for 20,000. Yeah, these battles are really not good, man. As you can tell, they're really not good. But, that's alright. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Uh, you guys head up to here, and then go up to here, to there. Um, that's alright. We'll siege him down. At least we don't have to fight in the west coast, which is really nice. Oh, they're, they're mobilizing in. Eh, it's okay. So what do we want from them? We want oh, Pennsylvania, which is going to require a hundred war score, which is kind of insane. Uh, national debate unemployment? Um, let's go with that one, because we can. I don't remember us attacking. I want you to alter... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I, I did not attack here, but... You know what? Come on. Come on. Uh, Get over there for, first, guys. There, just retreat for now. Let them attack us. Uh, at this point, we gotta do basically what we... This. Stay here. You guys go here. You guys go there. We gotta retreat and just kind of surround the enemies at this point. Wow, they move exceedingly fast. Holy crap. You know what? I'm gonna separate you. You go, you go right there. You guys go into here. This is not great, but that's alright. And then you... Go right there. How did... They, they move so incredibly fast. They're like animals. Oh, come on! That's so stupid! No, we did not attack there! We literally did not attack there. They attacked us. Oh, Ireland? Sure, why not? Oh, that's so stupid. That's incredibly stupid. Battle of Philadelphia. Oh, it's just not worth attacking. If that's the case, let's do it like this. You guys go down there. Uh, and then you guys go right there. You guys go right there, and then you guys go, well, hold on. You gotta go around them. Oh, god dang it. Who's going this way? And this 12th army, uh, it's the 12th army. Because we're gonna lose all these guys then if we do that. There you go. That's a little better. Yeah, that, that is stupid. That is stupid. <clears throat> we did not attack them. They're attacking us here too. That's alright. Kill them all off. That's good. How about down here? Good. Kill them all off. Uh, take out New York. Seriously, just take them all out. Uh, Canada broke our line, so these guys are pieces of garbage. Yeah, I don't like that about Vicky 2, so. Uh, form an alliance? No, all right, we'll relations anyways. Yeah, it's not going great for us, but whatever. Come up to Cleveland. That's the way they have to attack us if they want to branch out some more. Uh, stop doing that, just dig in, dig in. Oh, and they're attacking us. All right, go in. They want death? They can have death. Uh, they're killing us here. You guys go down there. That's fine. Hey, look at that. Cool. And calmer stuff. Let's do... Electric furnace. Uh, synthetic polymers. Why not? They really just want to die. Feed the hungry. Lose some war exhaustion. They'll die there. I dare bad? Sure. Why not? I mean, okay, at this point, we're going to full siege down the rest of the United States here. So, that'll be good. Pittsburgh, we'll come up here next. Full siege down there. Okay, now that's good. We lost 33,000, but they lost 189,000 men. That's insane. Oh, we need more dipl dipple points, huh? That's alright. 
they're going to have to come attack us. So as long as we keep our armies here, they can't expand. They can't move anywhere. Because we have com almost completely surrounded. We need some guys down there too. Uh, do we have extra armies here? Looks like we sort of do. Oh, and we got more. Oh, fascist influence. All right. Well, so be it. Um, what do we have down here? Eight and six. It's not too bad. We need some guys around here. Are we making another army? It doesn't feel like we are. So you guys go down there. What we need are four cannons. So really, we're going to go with one, two, three, four, followed up with two more planarinos. There you go. Cool. Keep making the army. Oh, and they started attacking us here. That's fine with us. You head on down here then. You find them, you kill them. And it is 1929, so war dominates elections. Jingoist, yes please. Alright, so that's going okay like... Oh, conservatives and reactionists only got 32% of the vote. Alright. Um, oh, Panama cannot dividends. Very, very good. Keep these guys where they're at. Uh, I, New York is still good to have. And they attacked us once again. You guys are looking really, really bad. But you guys go in there. Oh, America wants... Oh, no, 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 no. You want a white piece? You can go suck a fat one in America. No way. Absolutely not. Send one guy down here, too. There you go. There we go. Cool. So, that was my fault. I mean, these wars just get more and more deadly as time goes on. Uh, but, it's it's our, you know, usual time. We gotta go ahead and head down to Mexico. Because we all love Mexico here. Uh, there you go. This should be a pretty quick war. Obviously, we'll have to uh, replenish some of these armies, but that's fine. And then the rest of you guys can just go ahead and hang out here. In Erie. And then there. Yeah, we'll definitely have to replenish some of these armies, yeah. It's kind of my fault for thinking that we could just, like, invade them, but... It is 1929, and it's almost time for Sir Mr. Schmittler to rise to power if this was historical. But it's absolutely not. There you go. Alright, so what do we have in Philadelphia? We have so much, so many fascists. There's so much immigration. Holy crap! Okay, so look at this. So here we go. So you see how America's losing stuff. They have, like, technically four states left. And now America should be knocked down out of great power status. Because we took an extremely industrial state of Pennsylvania. 208 score. Right now, as you can see, we're getting, you know, 5,300 immigrants. But look at all the emigration and immigration that's going on here. People from Louisiana, Oklahoma, Illinois, Indiana, Pennsylvania, California, all over the country, including Mexico. People are leaving in droves and settling in places like Oklahoma, even though people are leaving, uh, Utah, Mormon land, Nebraska, Central America, Jamaica. So it's actually cool because you can see like, oh, people are coming to America or North America. Actually, not even Canada's, eh, Canada's getting some, but even for us, like, people are fleeing like crazy. And immigrating to Florida. Everyone loves Florida. Look at that. They get a whole seven people. Look at that. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Also, also lots of, we got this, this group here, too. I think I lied last episode just because um, we might have have another episode out of this one, too. Move capital to Boston. I'm going to burn Boston to the ground eventually. But that's just me. Now we have a total population of 260 million. Obviously not enough. So let's take a look at the focuses. Uh, I'm just trying to get the administration stuff up here. Uh, one of the comments did say that we could use our national focuses here to influence politics, basically, and, um, you know, get a certain party elected. I mean, I'm kind of okay with the conservative party. We've used the conservative party the entire time for the entire war. Or the entire, basically the entire campaign. So, uh, where are we, 60%? There you go. Go to 60%. So, I'm kind of okay with what we're, ha we're having right now. Oh, yes. Lose militancy? And get some more consciousness, why not? Alright, do we have the army yet? No, we do not. Man, we can make a lot of more pops. That's why I wasn't too worried about losing a lot of guys here. Uh, steel alloys are very nice, very, very nice. Also, I did extend the end date, so we probably will have one more episode after this, just because we need to take out one, two states here. That's going to take a long time. And we have Mexico to take out as well, which we can probably do right now. You are missing another arty piece. That is not very bueno. Um, there you go. Head on down there. Um, eh, we might as well just head on in. I don't think they're going to be really doing too much against us. Oh, we can restore order to Mexico. Annex. Oh, annex a foreign country. All provinces of which you, are your cores. Because this would cost 100. This one costs 100. So. Everyone will accept for. Was that Poland? Poland will not accept. Hyderabad will not accept. Everyone else will. But we don't really need anyone else either. So, restore order? Sure. Why not? This is probably a really bad idea, throwing ourselves into the mountains. But, 
you know what? We've got a lot of men to spare right now. And I hope we, that stays true for the rest of the campaign. But we'll see what happens. Alright. We got a store order. And another comment was, I think we can, like, release vassals. So we can release these guys. So we can take, fight them up and beat them up again. To take this territory. So we can actually do what we want here. And we'll probably go to war with Venezuela. Even though they're allied with the Canadians and Germans. Really, Canada, compared to us, Canada can't do anything. Four, four, 492. 500 versus our 2,000. Look at that. And our capital ships are literally only a quarter of that. So... Alright, first one's done. Second one's done. Uh, I'm going to send you guys back up home. Can you guys get up here, maybe? Uh, what if we did this? Let's make a land bridge. A. I wonder if we can get Mexican as an accepted culture. They're kind of cool, actually. 12,000 losses versus 10,000. Not bad. Alright, head on up to Burlington. You guys, head on up to Concord. Oh, and they're, they're trying to mobilize. You can see they're trying to mobilize. But we ain't gonna let them. We don't like Mexican mobilization. It hurts us. And you guys head on up to Lewiston. Uh, go to Caribou, why not? Because you can. And we're probably gonna need at least one more arty here, too. Yeah, these guys have a lot of attacks. 2216 compared to infantry, which is 2218. Or 20 and 18. Eh, it's a little bit more attack. Max speed's 8.5. These guys' max speed. It's just, it's just slightly better. Oh, we can make a. Oh, I haven't shown you the peace deal from the last episode yet. Oh, I need to show you the peace deal. That, it's a really good peace deal for us. But let's finish off these guys. If you want to about that, please go ahead. Confederate envoy from who? I'm not really sure from who, but oh well. Alright. Head on up to Detroit just in case. You guys head on up to. I really don't trust the Canadians. No one should ever trust Canadians. Oh, and you guys are still there. Tensions dissipate. That's good. Uh, was it you guys? No, was it you guys? No, who, who needed this extra? Oh, yeah, you're right there. Beautiful. And we need one more save. We'll be done with them. Not bad, Mexico. I thought this would take a lot more time, actually, so... Oh, that's so beautiful. I love it. This is what America should have done in real life. Ah, oh, we could have saved a lot of Mexican lives. Or just lives in general. I love it. Actually, for this army, you're not lacking anything. You're just lacking some guys. Alright, so... If that's the case, I do want to go to war with these guys. We do want to go to war with these guys. Can we actually... We're at peace right now, too, which is good. Uh, remove from Sphere. Dissolve Alliance. Do you use the opinion? Ban Embassy. So now our total population is... 266? Not bad. Decisions. Change this. That one's fine. Silent selection results. Oh, so here we go. We can release Vassal Decisions. We might release Columbia. We released Columbia. We'll beat them up. And maybe we'll annex them some more, so. We'll grant them independence. I can play them, too. You know what? We're going to release them. I'm going to do this. this is I never do this. I never, ever do this. So now they're not with us. And now we're going to go ahead, remove them from our smear. Oh, Italy's trying to take back Sutarol, huh? That is, huh, not very good for them. Cool. And let's make sure we uh, enact, uh, disable. Thank you. Cool. Very nice. We'll go back to war with them soon enough, so. Segregation? Well, you have to. Alright, so you guys, head on down here. You're gonna need quite a few guys before this. Uh, press X on you. Get some extra guys around here in Trenton. And then I'm gonna put you guys boom, boom. We already have that. Let's get over to Duluth. Moorhead, yes please. Also making another army group here, which is very nice. Let's get some peacetime going. So we can cut down on some of our infamy war. Even though we're making a lot of money, the Great Palace is covered! A great palace has been discovered in Nossus. More prestige. Ah. I love it. Let's see. Someone asked me if I can play as TNO Iraq. That's the first time I think anyone has ever asked me to play as Iraq and TNO, or just period. Um, I don't think they have unique focus tree. I'm pretty sure they don't. Well, maybe eventually. If they do have unique focus tree, I'm, I will gladly play as them. I assume he plays Auslan. Auslan is... Well, special. Help him out, help him out. Uh, 8100, it's, look, look how, look how, it's just, there's so much red, there's quite a bit of green, just so much red. Oh, look, look at how dynamic things are happening here in the country. That's just so cool, it's just seeing all the population, like, we actually have a living, you know, relatively, a virtual, living, breathing organism of our own country. Who the heck is this? Sierra Leone. Um, oh yeah, and also we got all this Africa, all the African parts here. It's actually really cool. We go all the way from Sudwest Africa, Herero Land, all the way up to basically most of Ethiopia. Not all of it, but most of it. 
which I thought was really cool. And people have been building up a lot of railroads around here too, huh? Sierra Leone, do we really want them as an ally? Eh, sure, why not? You know what, screw it, we'll influence you. There you go. Um, not much else happened these guys. Their military score is trash. Their prestige is trash. Their industry is really good. And Austria is getting taken out by the Italians. Banat. Also, someone did ask me why. Why do you hate Banat? I don't hate Banat. It's just like, Banat is weird to see. It's just it's just odd. I just don't know anything about Banat. That's why I'm like, hmm, Banat is very weird. Also, we do have Eretria. Well, part of Eretria. Confederate Eretria. Uh, what else do we have here? We have Aiden as well. And we have parts of India. Like, up here. Because that's that was British. As well as over here. So, yeah. It's very weird. Very odd. And also, we do have Melee and uh, Saba, as well as Singapore. So that's actually extremely good. We get, we got rubber, I mean, and precious, oh, oh look at that, we got, wait, what was that, precious m m metals? Oh, yes. So we got this stuff, we got some of this stuff. We actually have a few islands here in the Pacific as well. So even if we didn't colonize, we're still doing extremely well. So, like, look at that. There's only 90 people here, but literally, what is that? 75% of 100 is like 75 people, so like... 60 some people are Dixie. There's literally only 90 people here. But that's awesome. Polynesian. There's a whole mess of people here. People are leaving, huh? So it, it's, it's it's kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is really wild. So we do have colonies. I love it. Japan's here as well. Um, China exploded. Uh, because they're in the warlord era now, which really sucks for them. It must suck to be Kazakh right now over there. Kazakhstan. Is this really part of Kazakhstan? I usually think of Kazakhstan like right here, but maybe that's part of it, huh? Germany still exists. They are a conservative party with... Oh! Pro-military. Oh, if they're the Zentrum's party, then they uh, have anti-military. Okay. Exploding Chicago? Well, Chicago good. Well, you speak of Banat, and then they have a fascist coup. The Nationalist faction. Oh, well. Alright, well, whatever. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And we have some of our guys up here. Well, that's actually... I thought it would be a lot worse to take out Mexico, but I like what we do with them. All right. Oh, I'm going to war with them. Oh, yes, we can. Actually, do we lose anything? Oh, no. All right, then. Well, we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I call it in our allies. Well, we're number one in the world, so we actually get to decide how long this is going to last. So, uh, Since you're done, I'm going to send you guys down here first. I'm going to send you guys all the way down, all the way south here. Alright, they want to siege all that stuff down. That's pretty worthless territory, in my honest opinion, but whatever. Let's get all the areas that we have asked for first. And you're done. Chad, oh well. Yeah, let's not attack their capital. That'd be pretty darn bad. Hyperinflation is really not good. Factory up. Cost goes up. Consciousness and non-colonial goes up as well. Not really bueno in my non-expert opinion, but who am I to say? I'm just a guy on the internet playing some games. Why did you attack them? They're losing thousands by the day, actually, so that's not too bad. Even though we're losing even more thousands. There you go. Help them out up here. There we go. Lost 37,000. Um, Hyderabad. Sure, I don't really care. Hey, they're attacking us now. That's nice. Hey, Peru's helping us out, too. Look at that. I just want our cores. Wait, what? Oh, we have both armies here. There you go. Help them out. And now I'm gonna kill them all off. Are we gassing them? Nah, we have a we have no score. It's minus three for them, which is really good for us, but whatever. Ah, Brazil's coming in. We love Brazilians here. Brazilians, we love Brazilians. I just heard you never want to go to Brazil, but that's what I've heard. Ah, Colombia. Mm-mm. You ain't. Uh, we ain't going to click enter that fast. No sun. I don't really care about that right now. All right. Well, this guy. Bruckner is not very good on defense. He's quite poor. Domingo, oh, they're all out of horses and almost out of artillery. He's quite good on attack and defense, so he's got a, they got a really good general. Even the Greeks show up. No, no, that's Cyprus. Even Cyprus showed up here. Where are these visions being made? Hold on, we're not we're not spending anything. No, we're spending a lot of money on them. Um, let's take a look here. Trade. Oh, tanks are in high demand. We're automated, so there you go. You can have that much max. You can have that much max too. It's going to take some time, though. Oh, the French-American Summit failed, which is nice. Electric Furnace, let's finish this side of the tech tree up. I guess we could call in these guys, too. That's fine with us. Do we have any rebels? No, we don't. Uh, call these guys in, too. Why not? 
There you go. Oh. Alright, let's dash to support. I mean, this entire campaign, I've been, like, just trying to get more bureaucrats to work in these areas. It doesn't help that, we you know, we don't kind of spend a lot of money on bureau bureaucracy, but, you know, it is what it is. Panama Canal Dividends, very nice, very nice, very nice. Arg, North any weapons, if you like about that, please go ahead. Oh, there we go, that's exactly what we want. Take steps to replace the stolen weapons. Uh, I don't want to lose the seat, so we peace out. Now that's not too bad. Next time, we'll be just really beat them up for realsies. Alright, so we need to go to War with Venezuela eventually as well, so I don't want to do this until we're really, really ready. So you guys head on over here as well, just kind of hang out, have a good old time. I really ho wish we could beat up their navy, but that's alright. You guys head on home, and you actually have a lot of dreadnoughts, you're actually really, really good. But there's never enough dreadnoughts in the world, so let's make some more dreadnoughts. Four more. Not a lot more, but four more. Confederate schools and force the curricula. If we're not going to force our own curricula for our own culture, then what's the point of even having your own culture and, and country? What's the point? There's literally no point. Alright, and let's grab some of you. Great. Ah, we got these guys here too. We can work with. Nice. Wow. We've had... I don't think we've had Venezuela for this long. But they're 27% Dixie. Very nice. Alright, so which one of you guys... Well, you're looking okay, you're looking okay. One of you guys, yeah, you need a little bit more infantry, but it's fine for now. All is well, don't worry about it. You are looking just so beaten up. That's not even funny. Bakelite? Glass production output? Nice. British? Oh, well, British boys want to die, so be it. So when can we go back to War with America? Let's figure that one out first before we uh, go to war with anyone else. Actually, the next war goal we should get should be acquire American Corps. Okay, so we've got two more states to take out. That really sucks. Um, 34, that's not too bad. They're still fighting. And, uh, of course, in 1930, Japan would be going for the Feng Chong clique. Of course. Absolutely, of course. Now, Venezuela. Hmm. I want to go to war with them immediately. Because we do have war score for them. Oh, wait. Do we have a peace? Truce? Oh, we have a truth with them. Oh, until, with like, three weeks. We, well, let's, 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 let's piece it down for three weeks, then. Alright, so, we could continue staying... The way we are. I kind of want to go fascist just because some people want me to. And it'd be really cool to see a fascist CSA. Because I think most people usually go socialist or communist. I think a socialist though. That'd be kind of cool. And actually look at the bureaucracy. It's just so not good in some places here. And nationality wise. Okay, so we can talk about this real quick. There's actually more Yankees here than I thought there would be. California. This used to be more Mexican and Caribino. Yeah, this would be a lot more Caribino or something. Caribino? This is a lot more Yankee than it used to be, but then now this part, these parts are becoming more Dixie. Texas is quite Texan, but quite Dixie. What was used to be Mexico is rapidly becoming just Southern, like Southern culture. I love that so much. Michigan's almost done. Literally 50% of the culture in, in Detroit, Michigan is Dixie. Just, it's so good. Central America, I mean, you might as well call it Dixieland. It, it's literally Dixieland over there. Part of Cuba is Dixieland already. Venezuela is not there yet. This part of uh, Africa we've had for a while is not Dixie at all, which makes sense, just because it wouldn't make any sense why they would be. Um, we're not connected here, which is unfortunate, and we're still trying to build more divisions here, so we got to wait. We're making 4,500 monies. We're not even, we're, we're not even using tariffs. Our poor people here in our country, 68% are getting their everyday needs, and an additional 24% are getting their luxury needs. The middle class, 69%. And then 30%. I mean, it's good being in the CSA. We even have max social spending. <laughs> of course, it does help if you do have some uh, war reps. So, <laughs> that's the only reason why we're making money. Ah, oh, I love it when people pay us war reps. I love it. I really don't want to fight Germany. I really do not want to fight Germany. Oh, I mean, the, the most important thing to do when we go to fight Venezuela, if Germany does get involved is for us to make sure that we hold onto the territory that we demand the entire time. Now, if we go to war with somebody, they'll probably take out all of Africa. I don't care. I really don't. Oh, Bengal's here too. Uh, what is this? Citizenship demonstration. Ah, uh, limited citizenship? Yeah, get more plurality, that's fine. I don't really care. Oh! Oh, Italy came all the way down to here, to the Philippine Islands. Okay. I really want to play this China sometime. I really do. Um... Britain, did we beat you so hard in the last episode that you want to become our allies now? Did we? Who were we allied with last time? You want to, you, no? You don't want alliance? Uh, you got, no? Okay. Italy? Now we're so allied to the Italians. 
I mean, hmm. they will still not accept. You know, even though we beat the crap out of them, I harbor no ill will towards them. They're part of the Liberal Party, so we fight them here. Yeah. I mean, their their military score is god awful because we literally made them have a great war capitulation, but. Oh well. I didn't realize it, but Ireland got all of uh, Northern Ireland back. So if you're Irish, you're welcome. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I can't wait till things explode here. Ah, very nice. All right, so let's take a look here. I really don't want to fight Germany. I mean, don't get me wrong. Our army are looking pretty tough. Oh, you need infantry. Uh, do you have an infantry down here? Yes, you do. Very good. We have an extra 300 pop, but we just can't make any of these guys. And we're barely getting any uh, small arms. It's so bad right now. Well, let's go ahead and come down here and do that. Get pasta pizza. You guys will be fine down here too. We do have these guys here that we can make as well. But we can't even make anything, which sucks. How's the assimilation going? R Romanians becoming Dixie? What's that? Bengalis from Bengal, so that's Asia. Mexican, Dixie, Central American, non -farant. so Chinese people are becoming Dixie. I love it. So if we go to war with you guys, Bolivar, we're going to call all of our allies in. This could turn into a great war if Canada does get involved, maybe. Us, Britain, Can and uh, Japan versus Germany and these guys. If that's the case, we... Oh, oh, hmm. Because we have an entirely exposed border. And while we like being exposed sometimes... Sometimes it's really just not worth it. Missoula? Actually, I've, I think I've flown into Missoula before. So Missoula, and then Great Falls. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, we got one guy there. Go to Saginaw, which I've been up to before. Newark, keep one guy there. Keep one in Williamsport as well. And these guys are worrying me just a little bit by being them, by having those guys up there like by themselves, but that's okay. Billings, ah, oh, come to Dickinson. Let, let these guys get around first. And we'll probably go to war at the beginning of September. Cool. Hmm. Part of India became fascist. Masovia, I'm not interested. We got bigger plans right now. Austrian thaw, huh? Sure, I don't really care. You know what, screw it. We still have war reps for now from the British Empire, so... Max it out. You don't get... From my understanding, with if you max it out, if you at least spend... A, if it's at 100% already for administration stuff, and you go down to 51%, it should generally stay still re really good. If you max it out, you get up to 2% better efficiency, so really going down to 51% is not too bad, but it doesn't really matter to me, so... That's it. Ooh. I did say, eh, we'll wait till November 1st. The best time to fight uh, these guys, right? 522, 8th Grade of Power, Assumptive Equals. A time for the great democratic powers of the world to stand together. A some of them propose in Havana that would bring our nations closer. Though it also has a chance of going badly and driving us further apart. Do we dare make the attempt? Call for the summit? Oh, well, Jimmy says yes. That was a smashing success. German diplomats left felt pleased with the progress and relations have improved significantly. Oh, we get an alliance with them. Oh, yeah. That's nice, actually. That's really nice. So, maybe we can, ooh, oh, maybe, if we can get them, oh, I'm sorry, it's just, if we can get Germany to not at least go to war with us when we take out this part of Venezuela, because I want to at least complete all this stuff, that would be so good, because they have our cores, that's literally our cores here, how dare they steal our cores away from us, right, right, baby, Germany, you are number one in terms of industrial power, but you are number two in both prestige and military score. You literally have roughly half our military power. Please, do not touch the CSA. Oh, uh, let's go with the old German ships. Oops, my bad. I didn't click on it. My bad. There you go. Jimmy, please. Jimmy, please. Just, please. Uh, so, we're maxed out? Yep, we're maxed out on everything. I mean, only 50% tax rate. Uh, industrial slaves. Uh, remember the past. All right, acquire American court. That costs 82 that costs 82. It doesn't matter. There we go. All right. So, come on. Please. I don't care about Canada. I really don't. 
Germany will not accept. British Commonwealth will accept. Oh, Japan, Italy will as well. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is going to turn into a great war. Look, this is our core territory. We're only fighting to get back what we never had, but shh, don't tell them that. And Germany did not accept, making this not a great war. That's really good. Let's go in and teach these Canadian boys a lesson or two. How dare you get involved, Canada? We were allies. You, We literally puppeted you, and you said no. So we're coming back, and why is there only three guys here? <laughs> um, am I... Is, Ah, you're missing this group. Okay. Or you guys go right there. Maple Creek. I I'm not attacking. You know what? You guys go up here. You do the best you can. Let's see what happens. We're probably going to lose an army up here. Because they're going to just spawn someone up here, probably. Ah, see? Look at that. Oh! Oh! You know, remember... Well, back in the day, I did take Uruguay for the Americans USA. Look at that. They had to release Uruguay because they could never get back down here. They lost... That's only five prestige, though. Oh, uh, well, the totalitarian system. Oh, they're secondary power. Oh, that's so good. Oh, they're 10th in the world. Oh, because we took Pennsylvania, now they're secondary power. Ah, oh, you just love to see it. Die, Canada, die. How dare you betray us like this, Canada. We saved you from yourself. And Esquibo will be ours. Or, or, however you pronounce it. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, so... There you go. Limited sensation. That's fine. Mechanized mining. Nice. Doing a lot better than I thought it would, I'll be honest. Hey, you lost all your ships. Alright, so you, we don't really need you guys up here. Let's go up here or something like that. Alright, you guys go there and you guys go there. Great. And you guys can kind of just hang out and just like kill off all the natives. No, no, it's not that's not you for. Kill off the uh, guys we don't want to deal with. Rebels. That's what it was. Rebels. The R word. That R word. There's a lot of R words out there. I really don't want to attack, but... um, You have one plus one in attack. You're plus two in attack. You go first. You might do okay. This is a really bad idea. This is a really tremendously bad idea. It's alright, though. Vancouver Island. Ooh, yeah, you guys can probably come over here too and do that. Oh, hello. Nice. Sure, Ireland. I don't really care. It's fine with us. You know about the Irish. Oh, steel production output. Plus 5%. Great. We got 2 million monies. Love it. What else is going on? Well, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that's not a great war. I can't get any more war reps. Or, I can get war reps, but not really what I was hoping for out of this. Alright, Ireland. Yeah, oof, well, we'll see. Wow. We killed 65,000 while losing 23,000 ourselves. They're heading to Kingston? Nope. 21,000 versus 6,900? Nope. Everyone go to Ottawa, burn it to the ground. Uh, you head on down here to Winnipeg. I've heard of Winnipeg before. You guys go in there, and then you guys go over there. Maple Creek? Or Maple Crick. As I'm sure some people call it. Uh, oh, wait, plus 18,000 for 23,000? Not two Shabarinos. Montreal. Nice talk about the food. Um, How are we doing down here? You know what, you guys hang out over here. What else can we ask from you guys? Acquire Core Boulevard? I think we already did that one, so... Oh, we can't propose a peace. You guys, Canada, you, you made a mistake. You made a massive... Oh, we can dismantle the nation, though. But we can't do that because we already need 82. Ah. That sucks. Why would you not accept that peace deal right now, Canada? That literally makes no sense to me. Why is it? Oh, it's because we got guys down there too. That's fine. Um, head on down here too. That's fine. Fine for now. Totally okay. Yeah, Vicky too. This is what. This has got to be one of my favorite games of all time. I'll be honest. And if you're still watching, uh, thank you. Like, I, I'm in such a privileged position to have a. Wait, I thought they were fascists. Just have people watch me play one of my favorite games of all time. It, it's it's awesome. Just really awesome. I don't know. Just ah, I love it. It doesn't matter who we're playing either. Like I love playing like all the different nations. Oh, 
what is this? Clipper, boom. The wharves, quays, and dry docks in Guiamas are abuzz with the rings of hammers and songs of saws. As a local factory struggles to keep up with new orders for clipper ships that are pouring in from all over the world, efficient work processes and management combined with excellent craftsmanship and seamanship have led Guiamans or Guiamas to produce more better ships than during any year previous. Perhaps this is the time to rest on our laurels, but then again, the future is always an uncertainty. Get more naval research tech. Yes, yes, yes. Well, 2004 versus that. 13,000 versus uh, 11,000. You know what? As long as it kills off their entire army, I am happy with whatever we do. Kano, you made a massive mistake. We we loved you. We loved you like a brother. And this is how you betray us? Just kill them off. Seriously, just kill them off. I know this is a little bit overkill over here, but it's never overkill when you're messing with Canadians. Canadians sometimes go wild. And we like them wild. Hmm. Oh, there's about to be a crisis here. It's a good thing we're at war, so we don't have to get involved in this. So, Germany and the Russian Empire... Are, well, I mean, this is like World War I. Except, Germany wants Poland to exist. Well, alright. I mean, if I got involved, we could probably help... We could actually probably... What the heck? The Italians need help destroy that Navy. You ain't destroying us. No, sir. No, sir. Give me Montreal. Hey, there we go. Out of Missoula. Not bad. Where are you headed to? Kill him off. Oh, uh, let's not go to peace. I want that crisis to fire first before we actually go to peace, so. Hey, 9,000 lost. Great, great, great. Um, send youth. Oh, boy. That's not looking very good now, is it? Bloody. There you go. It must be really cold up here. Oh, that's a lot of guys. That's actually quite a few guys. Um, let's not do that one then. Uh, you guys need to go there. Uh, head out there maybe. Cool. Twenty thousand. Montreal will burn. It's only thirty thousand here, which we need to beat these guys up. I like them beefy. If the boys aren't beefy, we don't like them. We're at one hundred percent. Oh, I shouldn't have done that one. Ooh, war will break down in 17 days. Ooh. Ooh, we could risk something here. Uh, I should have. I should not have pieced out, but whatever. If we go with Germany, we get Poland. We can destroy France and Russia. Russia, France, they don't really care for us. Germany, they are technically... Are we allies? Are we allies? We're, they're, they're allies with the British. Wait. Hmm. Britain, what did you do? Hmm. You know what? Let's make a save. I wonder if we can bully France and Russia. I really wonder if we can bully them. Because at this point, all, all I want to do now is just kill off America. That's my only goal. So, you guys head down here. And then you guys head down here. That's actually a really nice way you can set up like this. Just tell armies to go wherever. If, of course, if we don't have a proper frontline system, which... Obviously, the next Victoria 2 game, for the love of God, I, or Victoria 3, Victoria 2, the next Victoria 2, uh, hopefully has a frontline system. Somewhat similar to Hoi 4, but, eh, it's, Hoi 4 is not perfect, but it, it's so much better than <laughs> Hearts of Iron 2, uh, Darkest Hour Hearts of Iron game, where you have to manually click on each one, and just it's just a mess. Oh my goodness, it's just a mess. Uh, come to Pittsburgh, come down to Harrisburg, come down, I mean, without Mexico, actually, we've got all these extra guys just lying around. God, I love being a superpower. It's so much fun being a superpower. Okay, so let's get involved on this side. I'm still on the fence. Does anybody want to court me? Please, please. I've never been courted before. Please, court me. You know, I'd rather... I might want to lose prestige about this. Okay, we got nine days. If I support Germany, will Russia and France back off? Because honestly, at this point in the game... We're number one. Germany's number two in power. They're not that high. Ah, France is pretty good, too. These guys... Oh, that's really bad. I'm going to support this side. Ah, see, they do it. I knew they'd do that. I knew they'd do that because we're so incredibly strong. They don't want to mess with us. But God dang it, Germany. Why did you break our alliance? Yeah, we got what we wanted out of them. That's beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Yeah, not too bad. I'd say this, this campaign... Went a lot better than, well, maybe maybe not a lot better, but quite a bit better than I thought it would. Because playing the CSA, it, it's an uphill battle. 
earlier on. Oh, look at that. Good. We're done. Uh, actually, since we're here, where's the party ideology? So, up here, if you look up here, there's a lot of fascism up here. There's a lot of conservative support as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, there are not that many people. I mean, there's a lot of liberals in California. This timeline or any other timeline, I guess. Uh, there's some socialists in Texas. Look at that. Mexico? Down here, they were quite socialist. I mean, we're so ideologically divided here in our, our country that it's not even... Like, people can't agree on a lot of things, apparently. Am I talking about the game or in real life? Yes. Hmm. Well, where are the population centers? Chicago, Philadelphia. 1.6 million people live there. Maybe down here, too. That's not too bad. Uh, and these guys are already pretty fascist. So what if we encourage, like, fascist support, like, somewhere else? California does not have that big of a population. 180,000. Like, really? It's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. We can try to encourage fascism, I guess. We might not actually be able to get it with just a parliament. We lose some consciousness. Thank you. System explodes. Not bad. So we're going to wait a few more times. Oh, crack down on communists. Cool. So really, all I want to do left is just kill these guys off. Oh, we still have an army up here, too. I forgot about the Dig deep and greedily. Yes, please. Yeah, we're going to need some people in Trenton. Have these guys down. Oh, we actually we did lose a few ships. Uh, I'm not really sure. Let's get more transports. We can use a few more transports here, so. The 10th Olympic Games. Very good. There you go. And make 35 more. That's fine with us. Cool. Uh, and I do want to cut down some more debt or infamy merchants for ass, whatever. I don't really care. Against Dave D Dravid Nadu. Alright, so. There's really not much else here. Cooperative. Uh, Netherlands are fascist now. Yeah, there's really not much else here. So we've gone through most of the decisions. We just made some more ships. What if we hold an election right now? Let's see what happens. Let's hold an election. And we've got most of the reforms as well in this campaign. Angry against... Well, there's people always angry at the government. What do you expect? I mean, we've done really well. We've got a good minimum wage. We've got an eight-hour workday. Excellent safety regulations. Oh, incident in Italy. Oh, we lose infamy. Get infamy. Humility cast a spell on any of these guys? I don't care about prestige. Why not? I don't care about the infamy. Um, we got generous subsidies. No pensions, which is kind of unfortunate. Good healthcare, and we got good school systems. So, really, not that bad. Now, of course, once we get no more war uh, reparations from the group, we're going to have to raise, raise stuff up. Oh, surge of fascism. Keep an eye on that, maybe. Total population of what, 228 million. Great place. Great palace. Ex discovered again. Great. <laughs> we got it again. Awesome. I mean, look at that. We have done extremely well. Oh, do we need this? Oh, we need this from the Netherlands. Mm. Oh, you know what? I guess we're not done here yet. We still got one more thing to do. <sighs> it probably won't take too long. Where's another army we can grab? How are you not done making these guys? How are you not done? Please. Uh, send you guys over here. We have two groups here. We're going to go to war with the Dutch. I want a completely full, heavy, handsome, delicious golden circle. That was the output. Oh, anti colonial league. That was what we wanted here, so. Socialist gain. Support the league. Ew. If they didn't want to get conquered, then maybe they should have put up a better defense. Belgium? Do we believe in Belgium? Some might say that Belgium is a failed state, but don't tell Taki Senpai. Alright, I'm just going straight in. Wait, they're a great power? You know the world's messed up when. Italy's not a great... Well, I guess Italy isn't a great power always. But with the Dutch, the fascist Dutch are a great power. Oh, we need both of these. That's not too bad. Can we call all of our allies in? Everyone except Japan. Oh, Japan's already at war with them. I dare bet will not. Neither will Cyprus, but I'm not too concerned about that. Here goes Greenland. So they're just socialism now. All right. All right, pretty good. And oh, these guys here too. There's only oh yeah, we're so oh we're already, we're already down there. Oh wait, did we kill off twenty thousand? Wait, where was that battle? We killed twenty thousand. Where was that? Oh, it's over here. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I forgot they saw all of Africa. I don't I don't care about Africa. I'll be honest. I don't care. Better schools, yes. Um, are we done here? Yes, we are. That's a very nice. Cruiser max speed plus 1%. It's 
So now we almost have this done. I'm gonna add this war goal. Oh, we get this nomination, acquire American Court Dutch West Indies. That's 15 war score, that's not bad. I, that won't be too bad actually at all. I'm not worried about Africa, I don't care about Africa. Oh, Yankee Patriots? Yeah, they're not gonna be Patriots for very long, they're all gonna die then. You wanna die for your country? Well, your country's gonna die. Cool. Oh, if you guys want to help out too, that's fine. Wait, what is the supply like here? Uh, supply in some of these areas are really bad, so I was thinking about combining them, but whatever. You know, we make basically Canada a great power, building them up with us as a puppet, and then they betray us. That's why I don't like the puppet system, like I said before, in Vicky 2, but you know what? That makes some sense. Conservative Party rocked by scandal. All right, not too bad. Head on some boats, guys. National debate, unemployment. Liberals are right. Socialists right. Do not get involved. Um, two problem or so socialist. Eh, I'm not gonna get involved. Cool. I guess I need to over here, I suppose. Uh, we do have armies moving around. I don't. I just don't care about this place. We're getting. Well, we're losing stuff here. Oh, look at that. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's it's Africa. I don't care about Africa. I'll be honest. I really don't. Oh, these are our allies here too. Oh, there were them. You know what? We could probably send some guys over. Or we could just send two guys over. Aristocrats is inside the peasantry. Well, how about you don't incite them, you ding dongs? We'll combine them both. Screw it. We're heading on over. 120,000 men. Go into Bruges. Where's our navies? You are there, and you already have some guys, so that's actually, that'll be fine. As long as they start attacking us, that's fine. Don't make me come over there and kill every single one of you. But who won? More speed is nice. Oh, the Liberal Party won. Oh, no. Well, yeah, those really changed too much for us, honestly. Oh, we're empty. Oh, that does. Oh, let's do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, that's not good. I don't like the Liberal Party. Confederate Prohibition. That's fine, whatever. Oh, these have a lot of guys right there. Don't really care about Africa. I mean, no matter what, we're going to get more and more ticking war scores, so... Less conservative support, 14% now. Sorry, that was my water bottle. Oh, Leeward Antilles. Oh, they're right there. I missed that. How did I miss that? Oh, my goodness. Uh, just in case, we, since we had to wait till 34 to attack these guys out one more time, you guys are there ready to go, just in case. Uh, but you boys depart. And I'm going to go fascist parties this time. And you guys head on down to here, so you can grab some more guys and attack those guys and get more ticking war score. I hope they do attack us though. Oh, they're not going to attack us. There we go. Well, could be worse. And we get deported, so be it. Um, yeah, we could probably do that. Oh boy. 22, oh. Get back in. <laughs> Where's the capital? Well, they don't want to defend their own capital. That's not my problem, so. Any shippies left here? No? Alright, well, you know what? We could, uh, we, could, we could risk something here. Oh, is there not enough guys here? Oh, that's for 30,000. Okay, that's fine. Carson City, nice. Well, we took the capital. Oh, look at that. Oh. They lost a hundred and tw oh no, they lost twelve thousand. Oh, hmm, that guy really sucks. Eh, whatever. They will not accept this, dude. I I, I showed up in Europe. Oh, we're the second largest military now. Whatever. But now we're the second place in world power, dude. We we literally came over to Europe to beat the crap out of you. I don't understand what they're thinking. How much more do we need to take from Fascist Netherlands? International women's suffrage? Do we like that? New evidence worse than scandal for who? Free press? Oh, alright, well, whatever. I don't really care. Oh, look at this. Drink a pension? Sure, why not? French-Dutch summit? The Labyrinth. Oh, look at that. That's cool. 
Alright guys, we've literally taken over your entire country. Literally. Look at that. You cannot do anything else? Yeah, you can kill some Africans? Wow, congrats. You can kill Africans. Just keep... <sighs> I'm not sure what to say, man. I'm not, I'm not really not sure what to say. We showed up and we, we killed off. Everyone we needed to kill off. So, I just... I don't understand. I really don't. Combine these bad boys together. Like, br dude, bro. You won't give up your colonial claim search of fascism? Well, alright. Culture Kampf? Well. Really wild, man. Now you want peace? Now you want peace? After I show up here? Curacao? Was it Curacao? I think it's Curacao, right? No! Go screw yourself, you pieces of garbage. We're going to hold on to this war for a while. If anything, we're at 29. I'm taking more. We're dismantling 29. Dismantle their empire! Yes! Oh, crap. That's not good to do. But whatever. Dismantle their god dang empire, you pieces of garbage. You're fighting the Germans. The Ger you're Why are you fighting everybody? <laughs> this is not how I wanted the last episode to go. They're fighting Japan, Germany, the British. Us, Turkey, Egypt, Croatia. All they can do is kill Africans. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> oh, this is a wild, man. That's why I love Ikitu. The Shadow of War. Wait. Yeah. No. No, I'm going to say no. I don't care. I'm just... Wow. We lost, but we killed off 36,000 of them in the Bay Out of Singapore. There we go. Dismantle yourself, you piece of garbage. How dare you? How absolutely dare you think you could beat us? Like, I get it. Like, if you want to have a lot of rhetoric saying that, oh, we're, look how strong we are, look how good we are. But still, man. All right, we can load this a little bit more now. There you go. Saves a lot of money. Wow, look at the UK. And now they're going to get taken out by the Germans. My God. Conserve... Oh, come on, I want to... The fascists got 30%. It's because of the reactionaries that they were able to do stuff. Screw it. Hold another election. All right. Head on home. I thought we did quite well there. It says we can't go to war for a while, but we might still be able to go to war with America. We'll see. And we're still number one in the world for uh, military might, so... Not too worried about that. Uh, do I want to get involved? I really don't. Um, I don't. I really don't. Sorry, Germany. I, I don't care. I really don't. Sure, guys, you want to move through my lands? I don't care. Oh, look at that. Now we're not getting any more, well, not nearly as much of this stuff. Oh, uh, cruiser attacking hole is not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, military spending is actually pretty low. Eh, there you go. There you go. Slightly better. Not that great, though, but, uh, look up there. Just casually slap on new tariffs. Don't tell anybody until they actually want to buy stuff. You know. And maybe the chip's a little bit too high. So when can we go back to war with America? 34. So two years. Uh, really? Quiet American court? That just takes so long. Why do I have to wait the truces, man? Um, you know what? I think from right now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go and just get to the next point in the game where we can go to war. So I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone. So here, it's not that much time has passed after we just left each other. We're actually the second most prestigious nation in the world, but apparently we have the Treaty of Paris. And the French lost the war against Germany, which was expected, but we get their colonies. Um, we skip colony. We all accept control over the colony. I, I, I'm not really sure. So, I'm not sure what's happening. 1772. We got, I mean, and also the fascist one. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I, I would like to see what happens here, but I did want to show you that 
Actually, we did become fascist for now. Um, and Ossetan, Ossetania, now exists. Go figure. Really, just... Okay, Houston has a core too. Exotic fun. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Research points? Yes, please. Um, other than that, I mean, I was just going to wait here and just play until Norway wants an alliance. Oh, look. Oh, Algeria's free. Um, I was just going to wait until we got everything done and get, go to war with America again, but German Ivory Coast. I hope we get more colonies. I mean, we didn't do anything, but I hope we do. Low pensions. Very cool. And now our first minister is inbred halfwit. Why? Why? That sucks. But, um... No more dividends. Oh, Japan, what are you doing? I'm not gonna fight China. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna fight the Republic of China. That's just not in my interests right now, so... Cool! I just wanted to show you everything else there, so... Cool! Let's see what happens! And here we have it, my friends. We are still only second in the world for prestige, second for industry, and first still in the military, which is pretty good, even though we still can't make any guys here. It's, uh, we got so many guys we want to make. We just don't have small arms. Also, I've just gone back to war with America just so we can take New York and then basically it's all just Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and that's pretty much it after that, which we'll get to very, very soon. But I've already started moving our guys in. Their score is 520, not bad. Um, wow, we took a lot of the Dutch colonies. I mean, honestly, look at this. If we go to war with the UK again, even though they're our allies technically, um, yeah, we got Parambo... Oh, look at Africa. Look at... Oh, my. Ah! I guess I didn't see everything, all the effects of the war. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Wait. The Japanese own Dahomey. Dahomey. And then... Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, we can't even unite here. And I guess Sweden's got some stuff. You know, I... Can we, can we make a trade, Germany? I'll give you all of Bam... Bamana? Bamana? Banana. A uh, banana. Um, for just, like, all this. Just so we can connect this stuff. Because that's looking not too bad. That's really not too bad at all. Um, other than that, we didn't get that much more from these guys. Oh, Germany got southern. Oh, I still guys over here. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, we'll get them back after this after this war. Um, anything else? Oh, we got Abu Dhabi. When do we get Abu Dhabi? Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. Also, we did get, um, Batavia. So, what, we got most of Java, not all of it, but we didn't get Sumatra. We got Ake. Siak, we got all of Borneo, Malaysia, Indonesia, this area. Uh, the British got that part. We got this part too. Guinea, Guinea, whatever, how we pronounce that. So, I thought we did really, really well. So, like, this campaign has been extremely successful, at least in my opinion. But, let's focus on these guys, shall we? We shall. Also, we're still fascist, so, um, I'm just trying to increase the size of all of our factories. I mean, we have, I mean, look at this. Uh, we're not even, we're trying to tax the rich and the middle class as least as possible. While the poor people are paying a good fair amount of tax not even all the way 61% is a lot of tax don't get me wrong but we can maximize everything we don't even need to have tariffs which doesn't make you know I guess depending on, on your degree of fascism it can make sense it doesn't have to make sense but sometimes it does hmm, whatever I don't know I'm not a political ideological person but we're maxed out on education administration national stockpile stuff social spending as well and we also have what is it we have all the reforms all reforms are done I think we've done very, very well here. Oh, Boston needs to burn. So now these guys got to go somewhere they want to move, which is really nice to see. We have all the guys here. We lost a lot of guys. We didn't kill anybody, though. Huh. All right, well, so be it. Ooh, that's not good over here. That's really not good. They're they're drastically increasing their numbers, though. It's kind of weird to see. But do, 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 do. Uh, is that really worth fighting in there? I'm not really sure if it really is. You guys move up to Philadelphia. Oh, now they're attacking us, too. Okay. Well, we gotta keep these guys here-ish for now. You guys go boom, boom. I might recommend you guys pull out. Pull out, yeah. 30,000 versus 54,000. 60,000 versus... Four. Oh, maybe we should have pulled out then. We were doing actually really well. Oh, well. Very weird, but whatever. Hang, just hang out here. Just hang out. Hang out. Or go right here. You guys are going up there anyways. That's fine. Are oh, they attacking us over here too? Oh, uh, yeah. Just kind of hang out because they will probably attack us again. There you go. Nice. Have you guys come down to here? Good, move in. So now they really are stuck there. How about over there too? Actually, you guys go up here. You guys go over here. So sad for America. Like, I don't know. Just, I've really enjoyed this campaign. Like, Victoria 2, you just gotta set yourself up to do well in the end game, and you'll probably do okay. There you go. And they're attacking us up here too. Well, not bad. Battle of Binghamton? However you pronounce that? Um, head up here. 
Oh, look at that. That's pretty good, too. Uh, 53,000 versus 5,000. That's pretty good. Uh, 22,000 for 2,300. That's pretty good. Do you want a piece out yet, America? Like, this is not good. Going good. well for you. Nope. Pretty nice. Well, until then. Italy. Corsica? I, I'm, not, I'm not getting involved. I don't care. I really don't. I'll be honest. Sorry, guys. I just don't really care about Corsica. I got nothing against them. I got nothing against you, Italy, but... Oh, they're attacking us here. Nice. Help them out. Ooh, that's not really good. Why are you attacking here? Put this down quickly. Hartford. Kill them off. I'm pretty sure we're not the ones attacking here. I'm almost more than certain we're not. Oh, but it's, no. Get out of there, maybe? Nice. A few more war score, and... Not quite there yet. That's fine. You can... Head on over here, guys. Head on over here. Seriously. Don't die over there. What the heck? Why did you attack? Le Leonida Jackson, you suck. You really are garbage. Well, that's pretty good, though. We lost 20,000 for that group, so... We lost 50,000 there, too. No. Hmm. I'm going to reinforce this position because they're looking really bad anyway, so there you go. That should be better. Oh, we have Boston now. And now they're forced to move to attack us somewhere here, so yeah, not bad. You guys head over here too? Nope. And we found the American Navy. And they're not doing anything. Yay! You actually, oh, no, no, no. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Jesus Christ, guys. And now they're taking us there. Okay. Fascists take over the government. The recently elected fascist parties use this position of superiority to maneuver around the country. Their plans have come to fruition, and although legalistic means, they've turned the country into a dictatorship headed by their leader. Although they promise to bring about the nation to a new era of prosperity and strength, their brutal methods and recent disregard for the recent laws seen by some as an affront to humanity itself. The supporters of the left will, of course, be mad about this, but only time will tell whether this new regime will be successful. The world moves on. We get fascist dictatorship. Hmm... I don't know. I don't want to get... Mm, I don't want to lose prestige. There you go. Cool. There we go. Hey, now we're in industry number one. Because now we have Ohio. Cool. I'll see you in just a little bit so we can go back to war with America. Alright, everyone. September 1st, 1939, which actually has... Well, I guess, you know what? That That's a special day in maybe not American history, but... History nonetheless. Now we're going to go to war for Massachusetts. We're going to call all of our allies in. Hyderabad will not accept, but everyone else will. We have no other great power allies, which sucks, but actually America is allied with France. So we'll see what happens. We're going to throw everyone in here and, uh, yeah, watch what happens. That's pretty much all we got to do. You know what? Screw it. We're all going to go to Boston. And, and the French showed up, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Our allies hopefully will do okay. We'll probably go to Spain, kill them all off. Look at them. They're actually mobilizing in there, too. Attention is dissipate. And we get deported. So be it. Pasta. And if they really want to keep going like this, I mean, we can keep this up. We can actually keep this battle up. You want to mobilize? Let's mobilize, America. Okay, never mind. We cut off a lot of people. Oh, where are they headed to? Pittsfield, huh? That's a lot of dudes. Not gonna lie, that's a lot of dudes. Alright, so half a million people here probably is a bit too much. Let's separate you guys and go to Concord, or go to Burlington, and head on over to Albany. So now they're completely surrounded. Well... Theoretically, they should be completely surrounded. But if these guys would stop moving, we could actually do something here, maybe. Please stay there, and then you guys go right there, too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So if they want to win, well, we got all of them done, so... I'm not sure what France is really expecting, because at this point, we got them 100% done. That's minus 33% right now, but honestly, France isn't all looking too good. Oh, we got the British in here, too. That's pretty nice. Actually, let's send one navy over, then. Let's send you guys... Oh, you got a lot of transports. I'm sending you... You guys are much stronger, actually. He's dead, so there you go. And we'll probably actually send some guys over, too. Once we get this stuff done. Soup kitchens? Ah, uh, sure. I don't really care. I really don't care. Uh, get rid of the ringleaders. Oh, you guys. Don't move. Just stay there. Because now they have to attack us in one of these tiles. And then we'll win. They can get their stuff back, but I don't really care. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the end of the campaign. I, I thought we might have one more after this, but apparently not. America's mobilizing. Well, I don't think we really care. And before we end, hopefully I do remember to show you, like, the nationality chart and what the world's like. So, Jimmer's Commerce protests. I don't really care. 
Man. A lot of infantry here. What is this? Oh, Asatania? Sure. I dare bad? Sure. You guys want to help us out? They were... Okay, so here's a great power list. Us, we're just... We're top dog. Even our... Our industry is bigger than Germany's, which is insane. And we need about 500 more score for this one. The British Empire is actually allied to us. Then the Japanese. Then Canada. Then France. And Scandinavia formed. And then Southern France became a great power, which is about to drop out of great power status. Wow. Up there. Wow. Um... Russia has gone to war. Whoa! The Russian went way fascist. Secondary power. Holy crap! They're fighting the Germans, the Brits, and those guys. Um. All right. Well, whatever. Well, they wanted to come in too. So. Wow. Autarky. And we haven't even finished all the stuff here. Bulgaria Associationism, because that's all the stuff we have left for this stuff. So. Just, wow! The Brits landed a lot of dudes. Wow! They're losing seven thousand people a day. Okay, now they're starting to see stuff down. That's actually really good for them. Um, if that's the case, I actually might send you guys over here too then. Oh, I should pay attention a little bit more. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, go back to Providence. There you go. Hey, we just got 111,000 off. Not too bad. There you go. Not too bad. Once you know Vicky 2 pretty well, it's, it's not too bad, but... And we just killed off an additional... Uh, 83,000 versus 7,700 of them? Oh, you know, go all in. Cover the losses. All they have are infantry left. Oh, the American Navy's right there too, huh? Nope. Sure, Uruguay. Sure, why not? We lost 5,000 for 25,000. Not bad. Alright, boys, get on the boat. We got some French to get rid of. The British are doing relatively okay. Oh, the French army went all down here too. Oh, boy. Happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. <laughs> All right. You, you got to give this up. You have got to give this up. There's no way you can keep this up, France. Literally no chance. America is dead at this point. Look at that. Beautiful. Sure, guys. You want to come in? That's fine. Uh, God dang, Inky, right? Killed him. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't care. Well, half a million, and these aren't conscripted soldiers. These are just normal soldiers. And we're still fascists. Actually, I had an election, uh, but apparently um, we weren't conservative, but then I held another election and we became fascists once again. Hartford, great. 37,000, 32,000. Nice, 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 nice. Actually, head on over here, guys. That'd be great. Here come the Peruvians. Newfoundland, sure, why not? Also looking not great. As long as we get some guys down here. Amion, we should do okay. 11,000 died in Providence. Very nice, very nice. Siege him down. Human resource development. And once this, this part of the war is over, I'm going to send and shuffle guys over to France, which would be very nice. How are they not losing any guys? Oh, fascist coup d'etat. Um, I don't really want to do that one, so... I'll be right back just... Because I don't really want to become a dictatorship, but I'll be right back. Alright, everyone. So here we're at. Um, apparently, Germany went to war with them as well. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but actually, Germany took French, or Francia Comte, which, I don't know how they did that, but that looks really awesome, I really like that, but they barely went to war, I don't know why, I don't know how, but, uh, we can go and piece them out if we really wanted to, do we have a proposed piece, oh, actually, let's, let's piece them out independently, so you guys, we will gl gladly take Massachusetts very much, and now we're with the French, and which we will not be able to accept those terms, uh, kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, we're beating up some French people here, too. Hey, I just didn't want to become a dictatorship. That's really my my thing. I don't want to become a dictatorship, so. As you can tell, it, it sucks being French right now. It really sucks being French. Incredibly bad. Incredibly, incredibly, incredibly ba bad, so. Um, yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby. Head on over here. Because we got to beat up that little ship. Actually, can we just YPC you out? Actually, Paris. Oh, the Brits are about to get Paris, so that's pretty good. Um, head on down here. There you go. Blew up the ship. And there they go. And now we got Paris too. Peace out. No? Alright. Uh, they're not... Yeah, they don't have anything else, really, so... There you go. Go up there, I guess. I don't know. Probably a bad idea, but... The Brits are doing it, so we might as well follow in, right? Actually, do you get any, uh... Naval bombardment? Because it's on... They get... Oh, they're using gas attack. Oh, huh, well, that's not too bad. Oh, help them out down here. 
we can do pretty darn well doing this. And ensuring that our allies can go from the UK, or you know, the Isles, to mainland France. Beautiful. Can you repeat that? Yep, yeah, please. Uh, no. Or, yes. No, okay. Well, we gotta wait. Um, well, I don't really care. Do, do, do just like, yeah, they, and there they go. And behavioralism is next. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Uh, sure. That's that's more. Beautiful. Now we're peace, my friends. Now we're peace, and we can head on home. France has been utterly destroyed. Now they're still fighting the Germans, but whatever. So that's pretty much it for us. We fully defeated America. We're fascist, and I don't really care about becoming a. Uh, Dictatorship, but oh well. Oh, restore the union. Oh, what is this? All states must be owned. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, if we wanted to, our manifest destiny is to, is to reclaim the U.S. of A., which once was, and thus to recreate it in the man name of the founding fathers and the true spirit of independence. Okay, to do this, you all of course states. I'm not sure which else we need. We already. Oh, we need Alaska. We didn't get Alaska. We could do that, but then we'd eventually change back to the United States of America. That's kind of wild. So we get a Yankee, Dixie, and Texan accepting culture, but uh, we kind of already did what we wanted to do here, so. Actually, we are fascist. What is the national value? What can we change here? Embrace the idea of freedom. Fascist freedom? All right, interesting. Um, is that it? Because we believe in liberty right now. What's the difference between liberty and freedom? We get more immigrant tribes. Oh, we get ideal of prosperity. Our nation is wealthy and our people are prosperous. This, this is and always shall be our greatest strength. Oh, I can't do that one because we need a certain group here. Glory. I'd like to do glory. All right. But I think that's going to end it here for this campaign. Oh, you know what? Fascist freedom sounds like fun. Let's do that one. Why not? Right? I uh, get way more immigrant attraction, too. Fascist freedom. We love it. But I did want to show you this about the nationality. So... Overall, there's still some Mexicans here, there's still some Yankee, even this is turning into more Yankee for now, but it'll turn into full Dixie if we kept going on. Mexico is becoming much more Dixie here, which is awesome. Even Chicago is becoming more and more Dixie. Northeast is, is kind of a bastion of Yankeeism still, as well as Northern Virginia, which you could say about that in real life right now. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Central America is pretty much all accepted cultures, except for like Yucatan. Uh, nothing's really changed Caribbean down here. We got some Dixie Caribbean as well. Caribbean. I keep saying Caribbean. Over down here is Dixie, which is great. Almost all of Venezuela is Dixie, which is awesome to see. None of this part is. But yeah, not too shabby. I mean, look at that. And uh, Europe's, Europe's just kind of a mess. We got some Irish people in Scotland. We got some French in Brittany, which makes sense. Germany is, well, kind of a beast. Russia looks like it's a cultural mess, which. Hello! What happened here? I thought this was Italian. Azerbaijan, German Persia, British Persia. The German... Okay, Italy m must have lost everything then. The Italy must have lost everything. There's a secondary part. And also Israel formed. Um, and Tel Aviv is now in Serenica, which where Benghazi should be? Even though there's only 12% Jewish people in Tel Aviv. So, go figure! Yeah, we don't have Israel here in this timeline. We've got Israel in Lib Libya, which you gotta love, Vicky, too. But, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, Le recommend me other nations to play in Vicky, too. Look at that, Romania. And I will see you all in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous Confederate rest of your day.